Hello friends, I'm Michael with Bizarre Design Lab. Together we'll learn to get up and running with the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. Our teacher today is a very special friend of mine. There's a file he's provided for us to follow along with the video. The link is in the description below. Go grab that, open it up in Adobe Illustrator CC, and let's put the pen tool anxiety behind us once and for all. Here we go. Everybody tells me how much the pen tool is a game changer for illustrators, but I just couldn't get it. But then Busy appeared. Busy Dizzy, creative health scientist here. Busy, I'm so glad you're here. I've just about had enough of this thing. Michael, don't give up just yet. The pen tool has a bit of a learning curve, but it's not terribly difficult to use. Just takes a little practice to get the basics. Here, let's take a look at this template. Come over here and set your color picker to black stroke with no fill. Come over to the layers panel and make sure that the drawing layer is active. Click the shortcut for the pen tool, which is P. We will now create the shortest distance between two points, a straight line. Click on this point, then on this point, and click enter on the keyboard. What we just created is called a path. It has two points, also called anchor points, with a segment connecting them. Part of the trick of using the pen tool is determining where to put these anchor points. Let's do another path with multiple points. Click here. Now we've come to the corner where the path changes direction. This is a good spot to put an anchor point. Think like you're anchoring the point to a fixed position on the artboard. Then come to the next corner. Click to add another point. And again, and again, and again, and again. See how you have this stray line following my cursor around? The pen tool is waiting for you to place another point. But we're done with the path, so we can tell the pen tool that we're done by clicking enter. What if I miss the mark on one of these points? Do I have to redraw it? No, you don't. You can always make adjustments to your anchor points. Just press and hold control or command on a Mac, which turns your cursor into the direct selection tool. Now, as we hold down control, command on a Mac, we can click on the point we want to adjust. Click again while dragging the point to the desired location and release. Cool. I can see how it might use paths to do line work in my digital art. What if I want to do a closed shape? Creating shapes is another area where the pen tool excels. If I click on this heart, you can see all the anchor points that make up the shape. Once you create a shape, you can fill it with any color. Or you can just add a stroke, or both. This heart shape is a little more complicated. We'll get to that later. Let's start by creating a simple shape, the square. Deciding where the points go on a square is pretty easy. We'll do one point in each corner. When we come here to the last point, we'll hover over it and see that there's a little symbol next to the pen that looks like a circle. That symbol means that we are closing the path to create our shape. Once we do that, the pen tool is no longer active and our shape is done. We can now do tons of things with it. We can fill it if we like, resize it, duplicate it, whatever. I like the flexibility it gives me. Is there a way to get the angles to be perfect 90 degrees? Absolutely. Let's go down to this other squiggly line. The shift key is used to constrain the path to specific angles. By default, these angles are 0 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and 135 degrees. This enables us to get perfectly vertical, horizontal, or 45 degree diagonal lines. So let's click the first point, holding shift down for the entire time, clicking along the way until we finish the path. Hit enter at the end, and there you go. Perfect 90 degree angles. Nice. I think I'm getting the hang of this tool. I gotta ask, because I see a circle on this template, how do I use these points on a shape like this with no corners? Michael, you've just made a great point. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like a good time to explain that there are actually two kinds of anchor points we use in digital drawing. The first one you've already become accustomed to, the corner point. As the name suggests, it's best to use when we need straight paths and sharp corners. But sometimes we need our paths to curve around. This is the job for a smooth point. This point requires a little more getting used to. There's no hard and fast rules to using smooth points, but generally it works best when we have the least amount of points as possible. Let me show you what I mean. To create my first smooth point, I'll click on the edge of the circle around 12 o'clock and drag. You'll notice that these little handles pop out of both sides of the point. 
Let's finish the shape and we'll discuss these handles. Once I'll get to right about here, I'll release. Then I'll go down to about three o'clock, click and drag again till I get the shape pretty close and release. Click again at six o'clock and drag it out, release. Click and drag again at nine o'clock, release. Then finish the circle at 12 o'clock by clicking and dragging in the last of the curves and release. Wow, the smooth point really opens up our drawing possibilities. But this circle doesn't look too fabulous. You're right, but now that we have our smooth points in place, we can go back and adjust them. We do this by using the same key as we used to move the anchor point earlier. Press and hold control or command on a Mac to get to our direct selection tool. Click on the end of any handle and adjust it until you're happy with the curve. Make your way around the shape, adjusting each of the handles to your heart's content. I think I got it. Man, I wish these handles were a little easier to grab onto though. I can help you there too. If you go to the edit menu, select preferences, selection and anchor display, you can increase the size of your anchor points and handles here. Now click OK. Much better. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I'd like to share something else you can do to help you when dealing with a shape that has a combination of smooth and corner points. We'll start with this half circle. So here we have this one on the left side. I'm going to click here in the corner point to start. And I have a straight line that's going to take me all the way down here. Clicking on here. Now I need a curved line that comes from here to take me all the way back to that point. So I'm going to click about here at 9 o'clock, drag it out till I get a line I'm happy with, and finish it off right there. Once again, I can adjust the handle to get it to a point where I'm happy with, and that's one way to do it. You know, the good thing about the pen tool is that you do have some artistic license. So, for instance, there's another way to do a half circle. I'm going to start with the curved line. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on the corner and drag. Then I get down to about 3 o'clock. I click again and drag until I get that where I want it. Down here I'm going to click and drag again to get the curve I want. And now if I finish off this shape, I kind of got this curve and then it comes back to this corner. I don't want that. It's not supposed to be a curve. It's supposed to be uh, a corner down here as well. So let me undo that and undo that again. So now as I come to this point, what I'll do instead is I'll click and drag that out until I get the shape I want and I'm still holding my mouse key. I press ALT and that sort of breaks the handle coming out of the anchor point. And I'm going to point it straight up to finish that shape. Click on this anchor point and there we go. So now using some of the tricks that we learned earlier, I'm going to teach you how to do this artwork. First thing we'll start is with the eye over here. I'm going to click in the corner, hold down SHIFT to get me a straight line over here to the right. Still holding down shift, I'll click down here in the bottom corner. And now, I could click here, but how do we know that this point is going to be directly under this point so that when I connect them, I'll have a perfect rectangle? Well, there's a little feature inside of Illustrator that will help us with that, and that's called Smart Guides. So if you go to the View menu, come down to Smart Guides. Now, holding shift again, we're moving over here. And as you can see, as I get a little closer to where it's supposed to be, there's a little guide that shows up that tells me I'm directly under that point. And so it's safe to click there. And then I finish it off. Now that's one of our shapes completed. We're gonna come to this heart. So now I'll start at about this part of the heart. Click and drag here until I get it right about here. And I'm still holding on my mouse button. Click the Alt or Option key, drag this up like so and release. That gives me a corner here, but it also gives me a smooth point coming around here. Put another point here, click and drag, then I'm coming down to the point. Again, clicking and dragging, and I hold the Alt and Option key, move that back around again here, and let go. Come back to this point, click and drag till I'm sort of happy with the shape, and then finish that off. I know that doesn't look too pretty. <laughs> then I click Control or Command, to get my direct selection tool, grab that handle and finish that off. Click that anchor point, drag that out. Now we will do the pen tool icon and we'll start here on the corner. Hold the shift key all the way over to the edge. Let go of the shift key. Come down here, hold the shift key again to that edge. And finish off the shape. Alright, this one 
start with the smooth point, which is here. See how my smart guide is telling me I'm directly beneath that other one? That's probably helpful. Drag that out to about there. Come to this other point, clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging while holding shift again. Okay, that one ended up pretty good. Then I'm gonna just click here and finish the shape. Hit control on the Windows, command on the Mac to adjust this one handle here to finish off that shape. Okay, now we're gonna finish off the bottom part of this pen tool icon by clicking in one corner, hit shift, come to the other corner, come down here, click again. I'm gonna click on the point here and drag out this. So now hold down the Alt or Option on a Mac key to move this handle upwards. Click on there. Now we're gonna click on the edge of this circle here. Drag this up, once again at 12 o'clock. Once again at nine o'clock. Hit this point here. And now we're gonna come right there to that point. Click, come to this edge here. Drag it out until we find a curve we're happy with. Click on that point and finish it off. Now we'll come back in here, zoom in a little bit. Hold down Control or Command on a Mac. Make the adjustments inside of here. We can even move this point around to get it a little closer to where we want it to be. Um, so now you can select all of those and, you know, come in and change the color of it if you want. You know, maybe you want uh, half of it to be on the gray side. Maybe you want it all to be black. But that's how it's done. Busy, that's great. I think I'm confident enough to start experimenting with my own digital artwork now. I'm glad to hear it. Well, it sounds like my work here is done. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, but more importantly, I hope that you were able to get the gist of the pen tool for yourself. If you thought this information was valuable to your creative journey, or you really liked the method that I taught, please let me know in the comments. As always, if you liked the video, please click the like button below. It's a good way for you to say, hey Mike, I don't just think I like, I know. To join the tribe, click subscribe. And to get updated on new videos, please click the bell icon. Until next time, daydreamers. Toodles!